Beth and I'm in the kitchen and I just remembered that I've been asked where my babies were. You hadn't seen them on camera in a while. So I've got Brian right here and Spucky's wandering around the kitchen. They're all going in and out because it's a pretty day. And Marlott, he's he's following Spanky around. I think I think they're playing follow the leader and uh, seeing seeing what they can kill in the yard probably. Now Brian's getting wiggly. So give me sugar. No, you're a good boy. All right, you go play with your brothers. All right. <laughs> they get so happy when they're outside and they can chase something. You know, Dotsons are hunting dogs, so they, they're they hounds. And I, I just love my babies, but I thought I'd show them off. Let me tell you what happened this morning. Okay, I go upstairs and I get my shower and get my hair and everything fixed. I thought, what am I gonna wear? Now, y'all know that I, long, I had gastric sleeve surgery, which helped my diabetes a lot because I'm insulin resistant and I'm type one. And uh, but this has been, it's been almost two years and I've lost right at 200 pounds, maybe a little more, depending on if I'm swollen or not. <laughs> but anyway, all my clothes, everything I was pulling out of the closet was falling off of me. Now things have been getting big, of course. And I'm like, I, I'm not buying any clothes for a while. I'm not buying you know, until I get down to my normal weight, which I'm almost there. But uh, I dug into the back of the closet and I found this wool skirt, it's lined, and it goes with a suit jacket, or I wear it with this with this sweater. You, can see, you probably can't see very well. It's black and white and it's got designs on it. I paid a fortune for it and it really upset me that I couldn't wear it. And it has a little shirt underneath it that's got black trim on it, so it looks very tidy and it's very, very appropriate for the office. But when I slid this skirt on and zipped it up and it was actually a little loose, I could have cried. If I hadn't done my makeup, I probably would. I didn't want to run my face. <laughs> but I haven't been in this since 2008. Yeah. My, I wore this exact outfit to my husband's, my now husband's family's Thanksgiving. This was when we were first dating. We went to Thanksgiving dinner with them and uh, to their, actually to his cousin's house and the whole family was there. And this was what I wore on that Thanksgiving. And I haven't been able to wear it since then that's almost 10 years because i started gaining and then i started really gaining and uh i am so tickled that i can i can get into my old clothes i'm so happy but you know when when i was at my fattest and i own the word fat okay i was fat i was not fluffy i was not pudgy i wasn't you know anything i was fat and I had a double chin. I had a big old double chin. I've never had a double chin before in my life. Well, as I was losing weight, the double chin, boys, hey, hey, they're starting to fuss. They must've got something out there or struggling with the toy. Anyway, as I was losing weight, um, I started noticing the chin was disappearing. And then I went on prednisone for a little while. And hey, hey, Brian. I can't even whistle. Come here, baby. Come here, boy. Oh, we're grumpy. Come here. Why are we so grumpy? Oh, they're going to fight. They're picking on each other. Hang on just a second. One had a toy and the other one wanted it. That's the way it goes. They're brothers and they're Dotsons and they're so funny. They're like having, it's like having drunk toddlers, I swear, that are very grouchy sometimes. All right. Well, anyway, back to the story. Um, I, I was losing my, I lost my double chin. I went on prednisone. Uh, it fluffed back up, made, my, made me have a moon face, and then it disappeared again. Well, since then, I've got loose skin on my neck. I don't like it. And I'm getting jelly. And I'm like, either I'm going to have to find something that fixes this, or, or when, when we go and do my tummy tuck, after I get down to my right weight, well, I get a tummy tuck. I thought, I'm going to get them to do one of those half face lifts. But anyway, so it bugs me, and I've used all sorts of stuff. And when we were ghost hunting, I saw Crepe Erase on TV. Now, I'm not sponsored. I bought this all myself. So I called them, and I told them what my problem was. Because on TV, the before and after pictures were just fantastic. But, you know, they always are. So I called, and I told them what, what was going on. And they sent me this bottle, this uh, 3.5 ounce intensive body repair treatment and then 
a smaller, it was like a six ounce version of the exfoliating body polish. Oh shoot. Sorry about that, I'm clumsy, I'm dropping everything. I got the dropsies. Um, and then they sent me, supposedly, free eye cream, uh, those little capsules that you have to cut off. I have to keep scissors in my bathroom to use them. You gotta cut the end off. And then you don't get any out. I mean, it's just a little teeny amount, and it's enough for one eye, so by the time you're done cutting twice and using it, you run out in 10 days. So it's just ridiculous. I don't like that kind of packaging. I'd rather have something that squirts or something that has a paddle in it, you know, because those things are just a pain. And uh, and they're always in the bathroom floor. No matter how many times you, I, I don't know why they end up in the floor. You know, when I put them in the garbage can, I swear they just, they're everywhere. You find them and it's like glitter. You know, glitter's made by Satan. That's, that's my, that's what I always say because you can't ever clean it up. But um, these things, you find them everywhere. So anyway, I got the eye cream and the body, body repair treatment and then the body polish. So I get in my shower the first time using it. Now I make body polishes. I have, I make my own skincare that I sell, okay? It's all natural, it's vegan, cruelty free, the whole deal. And so when I heard body polish, I thought, hmm, I wonder if it's like mine, because when I use my body polish, let me tell you, my, it is the best thing. It's deep exfoliation all over and it smells delicious. My favorite is, my, is the Jungle Gardenia. And, uh, but I have all sorts of different scents. But anyway, I feel so good after it. So I thought, oh, I'm gonna get some body polish that's different. I'll try somebody else's. This, mine is, it's like lotion with a few little pieces of salt in it. I thought that's not gonna exfoliate shit. But I used it and I used it religiously. And then I put on the crepe race. Now let me talk about the crepe race. It's supposed to, to fluff firm, tighten it up, you know, basically just make your skin look like it did 20 years ago or before you got fat and then lost the weight. Um, I have used it morning and night religiously. You can see I have hit pan officially. Now this is $40 plus shipping. And, uh, or I might've gotten free shipping for the first one, but I paid shipping for the second one, which did not come uh, two months after, it came one month after, because I ordered it mid-October and it came mid-November. I'm like, what the hell? And my husband's like, are you gonna get one of those every month? You know, do I need to put that into the account information so I know how to balance? Because he hates he hates stuff that automatically bills. It's, it drives him crazy because you can't balance the account if you don't know when it's coming out. But uh, I said, no, this was supposed to be every 60 or 90 days. And he's like, okay, well, just let me know when it's gonna go through. I'm like, all right, fine. Well, I got this little one, you know, and it's not that little, it's three, point, well, it's 3.5 ounces. And then I got a little one of these and then I got those eye creams for $40. Now, after using it, solid for a month, morning and night. Go to my old videos before mid-October. There's not a difference in the world. Now, I will say this is a very moisturizing cream because I didn't just use it on my neck. I used it all over. I used it on my face because I figured, why not? You know, uh, I used it on my on my chest to, for, to keep my cleavage pretty. I thought, you know, who knows? Maybe it'll, maybe it'll make my cleavage prettier. And I definitely used it on my lunch lady arms because I can't stand that. It's driving me crazy that I've got bat wings or lunch lady arms. My skin feels moisturized, but when I use it, you, it says use the pearl size amount. I don't know what a pearl size amount is because I have pearls that go from, graduate from three millimeter on up to 10. And I have a lot of pearl necklaces and pearl jewelry and you've seen me wear some of it. But um, so I'm like, eh, pearl. So I just decided to wing it and I just smeared it until I had a good coat and then coated. My face feels soft. My skin feels soft, but it feels like I've had all oh, poop. There's my husband. Anyway, my f skin feels real soft, but it feels like I've used, when you put it on, you feel like you've got Pond's Cold Cream. You ever smeared your face with Pond's Cold Cream, like you clean, you clean all your makeup off, and then you smear your face completely and uh, tie your hair back all off your face so it can all soak in, and then you, you know, or you put it on your hands and you put gloves on and oh lord i've done that so many times and ponds is great let me tell you my grandmother didn't swear by it for nothing uh but that's what this feels like 
Now, I did not break out. Of course, I never break out. I, I, I had, if I have a pimple, there's something wrong. I think I've had maybe a handful in my life. Uh, I was very lucky with that, but I've always taken care of my skin. I'm very particular about what I put on my skin, and uh, that's why I wanted to look into this, you know, to see if it would work, to see if it would irritate my skin or whatever. <sighs> it's moisturizing. That's it. It didn't get rid of any crepes. Now, I will say, for the same amount of money, for that same $40, instead of uh, a 3.5 ounce pot of it and... I think the I think the body polish that I got upstairs is like maybe six ounces, and then you got those little eye capsules which I I don't care for. Um, for that, it's forty dollars for those for those three. But then when it comes the second time, you get ten fluid ounces of the crepe erase, and you get eight fluid ounces of this, and you damn sure don't get any eye capsules, eye cream capsules. So. <sighs> I don't know. I changed my delivery. I called them because it came a month late, a month after my first order, and I changed it so I shouldn't get any more until February. But I thought that's kind of interesting that I know when I ordered it, I said every 60 days, and they sent it 30 days after, and they were like, "Oh, it's our mistake." Well, we'll we'll put it off until whenever you're ready. I'm like, "It's your mistake. You're charging me right here at Christmas." But uh, yeah, so be careful. Make sure that that was shady to me. Anyway, I'm going to keep using it, you know, just because it's moisturizing and because I got it. And if I don't like it by, by fe before February, I'll cancel. But it was worth a shot. And I'm not sponsored. <laughs> I paid for this all myself. Well, I, I think I took it out of my husband's account, so he paid for it. But anyway, um, don't believe the hype. It's just hype. I still got my waddle. <laughs> all right. I love you. You love you. Flaws and all. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.